hello welcome to the ivy Treads youtube channel today we'll be talking about a doorman dress the shift dress and you can see it has brunch effects both in the front and the back this is another example of the dress so let's get right into the tutorial a measurement a shoulder measurement of eight inches The chest line we'll be working with is 9 inches, but if you take a good look at the dress, you'll notice that it is not too tight on the sleeve area. So you can add either 10, either 1 inch or 2 inches. For this case, I'm adding 2 inches to it for ease. So I'll be making my armhole 11 inches, and then I'm just going to take it straight down to my M line. So this paper is not long enough. My M line is 40 inches. So I'm just going to use this for illustration purpose. You should take note of this when you are making yours. So I'm making the edge of this paper my M line. So I'll just make this into a straight line. Like this. Okay. So remember I said the shoulder we are working with is 8 inches. And this is a dormant dress which means that the sleeve will be cut together with the dress. So for the sleeve... I'm using a sleeve length of 8 inches. Again, this depends on how you want your sleeve to be. So we are working with a sleeve length of 8 inches. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to measure everything that I have here so that I'll be able to connect my sleeve on my chest line. So everything here is 16 inches. I'm going to take the 16 inches down here also. Okay. And I'll continue my straight line up to my 16 inches mark and then I'm just going to square it like this so this is going to be my sleeve opening okay so my neck width is three inches or three and a half or four inches I don't want this to be too wide so I'm working with three inches okay so Remember, I said this is not going to be shaped, so there's not going to be any sh any uh, fit around this. So I'm just going to use my hip measurements all through the other part of the bodies. So the hip measurement we are working with is 11 inches. That's 44 divided by four, and we are going to add three and a half or three or four or five, depending on how free you want to. Use your dress to be for ease so in this case i'm having three and a half inches all together i'm having 14 and a half so i'm going to measure this 14 and a half all through to my m line okay and i'm going to make this also into a straight line So remember this is a dormant dress and this is our sleeve because it's a sleeve i'm not just going to make it straight like that it's not going to be sharp so what i'm going to do is just to kind of make a curve a smooth curve around this area so that it won't be too pointed okay just for it to connect to our sleeve so I'm going to try to make a curve like this. So that's basically all what we are doing. The next thing is for us to decide the neckline we want to work with. For this project, I'm working with a neck width of 3 inches. And for the back bodies, the neck depth I'm working with is 1.5 inch. Okay. And from the front bodies, the neck dips I'm working with is th 4 inches or 3 or 3 and a half, depending on how you want your neckline to be. So I'm going with 4 inches right here. And then I'm going to connect it to my 3 inches neck width. Remember, the neck width has to always be the same. Because we are about to be easier for us to join it together like that. Okay, so this is for the back. And this is for the front. And if you take a very good look at the front, you will see that after this neck curve, there is like a straight line here. So I'm going to be making 
my notch three inches deep so it depends on you is either you slash it open to have just a straight line or you can just make it a bit curve like this i think i'm going to go with this okay so this is for my front and this is for my back this is my sleeve opening and this is the rest of the bodies so i'm going to cut this out now and then i'll take it to my cutting table to cut on my fabric okay so i've replicated this on my fabric so i just placed the paper the pattern on the fabric and i cut it out remember when i was cutting i said the pattern is not enough for my full length so you should take note of that the pattern is 36 inches and the full length i'm working with is 40 inches making 41 with one inch allowance so i took account of that when i was cutting on my fabric okay so i cut i've cut the back pattern also so this is the back this is the front with the opening i was talking about and this is also the back pattern also i've cut facing for both the front and the back pattern this is the facing for the front pattern i made my facing this long because i intend to use it to turn my ham hole i intend to use it just as lining to turn so that i'll be able to turn the ham hole like a lining so that is why i made the facing this long i also cut facing too for the back also so the next thing we are going to do now is to cut the other parts that we need to make this dress we'll be needing a pocket so this is my pocket here i've ironed it and i used a length of okay length of around 16 and half inches and the width i used was 12 inches for my pocket so i tend to place it i don't want my pocket to start from my center front so i'll just place it like one inch away from my center front like this and then i'm going to sew it down i don't want this video to be unnecessarily long so i'm trying to explain this and then for the branch area that's the area that has the rope i'll illustrate with the pattern paper so that it will be clearer okay so what i'm just going to do basically for the back the the wrench goes hard through the back but for the front side it's just on one side of the front so i'm just going to mark my waist measurements in this case it is 17 inches so i'll mark 17 inches like this on my pattern on my fabric okay and then i'm going to use chalk to make it into a straight line so that it will be straight okay so for the for the waistline i already marked it at 17 inches and i made a ruling here so what we're going to do is we're going to make like a bias a one inch bias like this so I just cut out two inches and then I folded half inch inwards this way and half inch inwards this way to make my one inch casing that I'm going to pass my rope through. Okay, so this casing is one inch and I'm just going to place it on my waistline or wherever you want the rope to pass through. And I'm going to place it like this and then sew very close to the tip so that I'll be able to pass my rope. I also made ropes for both the front and the back so for the back bodies the the casing will run through out all the back both sides of the of the back bodies but in the case of the front bodies the casing is just on one side of the front body so i don't want this to start at my center front so you can just move maybe one inch two inches or three inches away from your center front in this case i'm moving two inches away from my center front so on the two inches mark is where my casing is going to start so on this two inches mark i'm just going to place my casing over here and then i'm going to sew it like that so that i can pass my root through so i just take this to the machine quickly now and sew it then bring it back to show us okay so i've turned my dress with facing you can see it is neatly turned both inside and outside 
so like i said i made my facing long because i want to use it to turn my arm my sleeve so you can see the sleeve is already turned both ways also so now to our rope remember we made a casing of one inch so this is the back back for this and i told you that the casing is going to go all through the back like this so i've inserted i made a casing and i inserted my rope here so i closed it on this side because this is not the side that i'll be using to tie to the front i closed this completely here and i inserted my rope like this so on the other side that will go to meet the front in order for us to be able to tie it i did not close this completely so i left some spaces here so what i'm just going to do is i'm going to stop my 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 um, rope right here it's not going to go all the way to to the to the same allowance like this so for the front piece also remember the casing for the front piece doesn't go all the way so i marked two inches away from my center front and i started adding my rope so i've not added the rope here so just to show you how i did that for the first one okay so this is the rope right here and remember we're going to pass it like this so that it will come out here we can tie it together to the back so i've inserted the safety pin here i'm just going to insert my rope here and then pass it all the way for it to show at the end part like this so i did exactly the same thing for the back for this so now i have my rope out here i'm just going to drag it till i get to the end so watch carefully in order for it not to come out when we are dragging remember we'll drag it like this so for it not to come out of here i'm going to this is the rope inside the casing like this so on the casing together with the rope i'm just going to fold this over like this i'll fold this and then i'm going to close it by sewing on it so that means once i sew on it to close this completely like this it will hold down my rope here for me so that i'll be able to drag it as much as i want like this okay so half here also like i did for the back this rope is not going to be entering into my seam allowance it's just going to be out like this so that i'll be able to tie it together to the back for this so the sides of the dress have been sewn together by one hinge so remember it's cut together with the sleeve so you just sew it together by one hinge hemmed it on the hemline so once we turn it out like this you can see that our rope has been closed neatly here it has been sewn here and it has been closed so we can drag it as much as we want i also fixed the pocket it's just sewing around the pocket and it will allow you to and uh, to slip your hand through it and also this is the back remember i said the rope cuts through the back all right so you can also drag the back as much as we want so once the back is dragged like this we we'll also drag it in front and then we can tie it to the sides like this so this is going to control the waistline and give it some form of fit so i'm just going to take this to the ironing table now and iron it out so then everything can lie flat for me then i'll hang it up on the mannequin to show you what it looks like okay so this is the full dress it's a shift dress so this is the neckline well laid this is the pocket okay and this is the back you can see the rush effects on the back like this okay and this is it also at the front so the front bodies you can drag it as much as you want to just drop down the rope and this is the full dress so kindly like and subscribe to our channel 
Thank you for your support. See you in our next class. Bye.